I have spent 20 minutes looking at this and I still can't decide. I am a horrible person. Uh... Fuck it! Bam! Well, as long as he isn't trying to seduce you, I see no problem with him being around. She snorted. A man seduced me. I do not believe it to be impossible. <laughs> you may join our group if you are so determined. Stars and moons, my wishes have been granted! Hooray! Calm down. Yes, your almighty Amazon princess ship! <sighs> the newly expanded group ended up booking three rooms from the cranky owner. Draco and Dora each took their own room, while Lor Lauren and Saren shared a room. They had both settled down when Lauren started to address from her light armor. She stopped before she removed her top when she noticed Saren was watching. Saren couldn't help but stare at the princess's beauty. She looked perfect in countless ways. Strong, but always elegant, and everything about her had a sense of confidence and loveliness. He distantly thought that any lovers the woman took would be very fortunate men, even if she did not love them. She was strong more than just physically. There was no questioning, she was mentally strong as well. For only a person with great strength of heart would deny a royal crown to instead search for a loved one. He remembered how she had said that a man could not seduce her, and when he challenged that, she said nothing. Was there room in her heart for someone other than a woman? For a slave? Turn your eyes away. You're angry. Sorry, your highness. I don't want to have to tell you again. At least have some humility if you're going to be staying in the same room as I am. Understood. I know decency is difficult for a man like you, but I know that I'll... No, that I'll kill you if you try anything. I'm supposed to be protecting you. I can take care of myself. There was the moment when Saren realized just how special Lauren was. She was beautiful, deadly on the field of battle, and later in this tale, the one to make the most difficult decision. Dun dun dun. Ugh. Get ready to fight! What? Right now? We've got trouble brewing. It's probably an assassination attempt. You should have woken up before me if you wanted to earn any expre respect. You have no business here. State your names. Not time to heal automatically, so you'll start the next one in the conditions you end this one. It is recommended you save your game now. Saving. Closing. Okay, did so. Review your party setup before proceeding. This is good. Alright. Okay, I get it. So, the best way to do this is probably... Alright. Go 
go down. Should have surrendered when they had the chance. Whew. All right. Draco and Dora burst into the room. Princess Lauren, Saturn, what's all the ruckus? We heard noises and came as quick as we could. You're a bit late, actually. It wasn't enough time for their conversation to continue, though. A new group of enemies started to materialize before them. Their form seemed to solidify before their very eyes. Saren tensed instinctively, knowing there was sorcery at play. The adversaries that have materialized were none other than a few goblins and a giant hulking overlord. It's Grob! The goblin shaman who captured you? Yes, be careful! His magic is very powerful! Not even one tall tree. <laughs> Magic's magic. We can handle a few greenies by ourselves. Indeed. Review party setup. Let's see. You're also a bow and arrow user, so it's kind of... Oh, boy. Let's try this. Should have surrendered when they had the chance.
This guy is going down! Booyah! Level up! Oh, I see. It's telling me to learn one of these things. Whoops. There we go. Level up. Pretty cool. After a series of attacks from the party, Grob finally gave up. The creature collapsed, struggling to breathe. You've lost. Do you have anything to say before I kill you? Just one thing. Grob lifted his staff and growled an incantation that cast a spell over the entire group. Draco had no time to protect them with an anti-curse and the group was instantly paralyzed. Lauren struggled against the spell, but Grob's sorcery was too much even for her. You may have managed to defeat me this time. But this is far from over. I have another surprise for you. The dead goblins and thugs whom the group had killed were changing form, turning into what looked like city guards. Though they were in a pool of blood, the guards' uniforms were unmistakable. We're in serious trouble now. I do hope you like humans, Amazon Queen. You're going to rot in the Empire's prison now. Grob disappeared, fading into thin air just as he had appeared. The screams were enough to alert local guards to come running to see what had happened. This is bad. Blast that Grob! He spoiled me again! You'd think I'd know better by now. We have more to worry about right now. HALT! LOWER YOUR WEAPONS! Despite the demands of the guards, Lauren had no intention of surrendering. She tried to resist as the soldiers swarmed around them, shouting obscenities. obscenities. But it was futile. There were too many of them, and soon everyone's hands were shackled behind them as they were pushed through the streets to their fate. Unhand me at once! Cease your struggling, wench! Wench, you will die this day! Your Majesty, no! Fighting will only let us... will only make us look guilty. Just let them take us in. I promise I can get us out. You promise? Draw Sona! That's nonsense. You can't promise to get us free from a jail cell. Yeah, I can. I bet you ten gold I can. A god pushed Saren forward harshly and he stumbled forward with a groan. Listen, I can cast a flash spell to blind them all right now. It'll give us more than enough time to escape. We can take horses and seek refuge with the elves and druids. They're friendlier than these guys by far. Oh boy. They're telling me to make a choice.
Oh boy. Oh boy. What are you guys whispering? Shut up! After the guards moved back to restraining Lauren, Saren inched back to Draco and Dora. But the Empire! Oh, those guys? <sighs> Bunch of big meanies, really. They'll just enslave us, you know. No trial or anything. But we can escape right now with my magic. This was a key decision that rested upon their shoulders at that late hour of the night. While their journey was still in its early stages, the importance of this choice was unparalleled. But they had to make the decision quickly. And that is exactly what they did. Hmm. Run to the elves or escape from the jail. Elves jail. Elves jail. Elves jail. Elves jail. Elves jail. Hey, this is RPG at Will. I hope you liked this episode of Lore and the Amazon Princess. If you want to check out some of my other material, you can click on my channel link below or you can even subscribe if you'd like. I like to do some silly songs on the side along with my RPG work. If you want to see some more group oriented stuff, there's another channel called Gaming Idiots TV that I take part in. That's where we do all our group stuff, so I'll provide a link below if you want to check it out there. See you next time.